Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to cover the exciting topic uh, how to compile Quantum Espresso in Linux. Uh, the first advice would be that uh, you should be prepared because the, inst uh, the compilation is usually uh, maybe very painful and may may maybe very annoying um, and uh, you should be patient. I remember that the first time that I compile Quantum Espresso, it took me uh, several days uh, continuously trying and, and afterwards I, I, I get it running. But it's really uh, not, not an easy process. So be patient. Um, if you have any question, um, you should first consult the official documentation. Maybe they have already written something inside, uh, inside a manual. The second thing would be uh, uh, to search on Google. Um, I I don't know because Quantum Espresso is not a widely used uh, software like 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 uh, Microsoft Word, mm, but maybe maybe you are lucky you can still find something, uh, and or you can uh, just try around, try around different possibilities, different com combinations. Maybe maybe one of them works. Um, and um, another idea is that uh, you can start with a clean installation of, uh, for example, Ubuntu, and try to compile Quantum Express on on that, because um, uh, I I also made some uh, hands-on tutorial um, starting from the installation of Ubuntu. Um, and um, and a compilation of Quantum Espresso on on that clean system. So so the idea is that if we start at the same point, um, we um, hopefully will see the same problem, which which I will solve in the in the in the videos. So so if if nothing works for you, you you can also try to uh, install a new version of uh, of Ubuntu and we can uh, start together. Why the compilation is so difficult? It is because uh, Quantum Espresso is written with uh, C, C language and Fortran language. So so you, so you need the comp you need a C compiler, you need a Fortran compiler and also it uh, calls some external uh, math library and also it needs the parallel computer library so all of those things works independently but if they but, but there's no guarantee that uh, that there's no conflict between uh, any of them so uh, so if there is any conflict the the compilation will fail the the, uh, the program will fail so that's why it's it's kind of difficult to to keep everything on the same page uh, so Although the compilation is quite annoying and difficult, it is it is actually extremely important because it highly influences the speed of the code, as we will see later. So to compile Quantum Espresso, there are two uh, possibilities. One is the serial version, one is the parallel version. The serial version means that you tell your Quantum Espresso uh, that um, that that it should only run on one one core, one core of your CPU. For the parallel version, it will run. Uh, it will distribute the the job to different cores on the CPU, and this will highly uh, increase the efficiency. So, um, but but on the other hand, the serial compilation is usually much easier to do. Uh, yeah, and there are three things uh, then that are needed uh, besides the source code that you uh, that you uh, download from the uh, official website. So uh, the first thing is compiler, because um, as I said before, Quantum Espresso is written in C and Fortran. So you need a C compiler, you need a Fortran compiler, and uh, and there are basically two choices for, for for both one is the GNU compiler which is GCC or G Fortran or Intel compiler then that is specific for for Intel products which is ICC and i4 and apart from that uh, quantum espresso also needs some external math library 
Um, the reason is that uh, this kind of quantum uh, quantum mechanics uh, calculation uses uh, matrix uh, matrix diagonalization to a very large extent, so it needs a lot of uh, this kind of diagonalization calculation, and um, and uh, in the in the main code of quantum espresso, uh, it is it is not written in, uh, like this kind of operations and it, um, are not written, and it just calls the um, some 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 more specialized external library to to calculate for uh, this linear algebra, and uh, and for that uh, this plus and LaPack uh, library are. Um, are, are the external library that uh, quantum espresso, espresso tries to call, and those also comes with quantum espresso um, in the in the uh, in the source uh, source code bundle. Um, another thing that quantum espresso usually do is uh, Fourier transform, because it uh, I you need to transform from uh, real space to k space, uh, because this is a uh, Plane wave, uh, plane wave uh, code. So, so for that, uh, it al also offers the um, library which is called FFTW. So those two internal libraries, uh, they are, they are, uh, they they are okay, but they are not the most efficient. The most efficient one uh, is is vendor specific uh, math library. In the case of Intel, it is Intel MKL. So for the case of uh, AMD, it is called ACML, yeah. And uh, the third thing that is needed is the parallel computing library. Of course, if you compile a, ser th a serial version, you don't need the parallel computing library. But if you com uh, compile a parallel version, you need. There are two protocols of uh, parallel computing. Uh, one is OpenMP, the other is MPI. Um, Usually MPI is more often used, and um, although although Quantum Espresso officially supports both OpenMP and uh, MPI, some people would um, would try to combine OpenMP and MPI. But I would suggest that if you don't know what you are doing, you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't do that because uh, that will introduce a lot of problems and conflicts. So my suggestion is is that you should use MPI. In in the case of MPI, you ha have uh, different choices, uh, maybe MPI CH or Intel MPI. So how does the performance depend on on this uh, these different choices and how do you choose them? Um, the general guideline is that uh, you you shouldn't use a serial compilation. Because serial compilation is easy to do, but um, but it is inefficient when you run the code, because it only uses one co uh, one one core r rather than, for example, eight cores in your CPU. But uh, but this depends on, on on your situation. If your CPU only have one core, uh, of course, it doesn't doesn't make sense to do parallel compilation. Otherwise, parallel compilation would uh, would be uh, very beneficial. However, because the serial compilation is is very easy, we can use it as a test or as a starting point. If if you have never done compilation in Linux or you have never done this before, a serial compilation would be a good starting point. And that's how our hands-on tutorial later well um, is arranged. So um, as as for the compilers or a mass uh, mass library. As I said, the vendor-specific libraries are much more efficient than the G GNU ones. They are uh, they are difficult to uh, compile, but uh, but it's usually worth it. So at the beginning uh, of one of the project, I um, at the beginning of the first project, I r I really uh, like I was really lazy, so I so, so I chose this GNU compiler and compile everything and this parallel compilation. Um, but but later when I, uh, after I switch to Intel compiler, it it increases the efficiency by a factor of by a factor of four. So this is a very uh, uh, 
this is a very big improvement so I would really uh, uh, I would really uh, suggest that you try to compile with Intel compilers and Intel MKL library um, in addition Intel MPI works more or less the same as uh, MPI CH so at that part is it's, it's okay but uh, but open MPI I, I also tried it is uh, it is worse and um, it is also difficult to handle so I would uh, I would I would go for MPI so um, so those are the general steps for for the compilation first thing is to download of course to download the source code from the website and uh, this tar uh, this tar code me um, means that to decompress the, uh, the the file and then you will end up with a with a folder and cd means go into the, uh, the folder and if you go into the folder you, you write uh, dot slash configure and and this allows quantum espresso to automatically com configure the uh, uh, environment and it tries to find the compilers that um, that are already in installed the parallel computer environment and the mass library and it will give uh, an automatic suggestion how to how to uh, compile the code and um, and you can uh, after this step you can either tune the parameters of the compilation you can change the compilers you can tell the uh, tell quantum espresso to compile with a specific compiler uh, by adding arguments after dot slash configure or by modifying the file make dot ink you can also s uh, like uh, at at the starting at the starting point you sh uh, you you can just uh, uh, skip this uh, this step and uh, write make pw make is is the command for compilation yeah. pw is uh, one of the sub programs of quantum espresso because quantum espresso is actually a bundle of program and pw calculates the dft self consistently and it may be the most important one in quantum espresso uh, one of the most important one um, if you want to compile everything you should uh, write make all but uh, but usually make pw already um, already cost uh, seven minutes for me on my on my computer maybe 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 on your computer is faster but make all will cost mu much more time um, for test use you just have to compile pw and if there is there is some error in the compilation uh, that uh, for example it stops halfway and uh, shows some error message you should uh, go back to the configure step and try to tune the parameters try to find different compiler and and and, and solve the problem huh? um, yeah this we will also see in the hands-on tutorial and after the successful compilation you need to test and benchmark your code uh, there there is already uh, okay yeah there's already a a small part of the uh, source code which is uh, uh, which is for test use um, it is uh, under the main folder in the folder called test suite um, go into that folder and uh, write make run test pw serial so this means that it run tests for uh, for the uh, PW sub program only and in a serial mode if you if you make all in the previous stage you can also make run test serial so it runs test for all of the sub programs yeah. and if you uh, substitute serial with parallel it means that it tests the parallel compatibility of uh, of uh, the quantum espresso that you compiled um, so for the C uh, if you if you compile a quantum espresso ser uh, serially, um, it will only work with uh, run test pw serial. The run test pw parallel will fail. But if you compile uh, compile quantum espresso parallelly, uh, both will work. So actually, this test uh, also also allows you to do some benchmark on on the performance of the code. 
basically you can count how how much time does the um, does it take for for the program to run through for example the, the first 10 examples uh, the first 10 tests uh, yeah and then and then the the idea is that um, after the benchmark we can go back to the configure stage and tune the parameters to change the compiler change the uh, math library and um, and run run everything run the test and see whether the time is longer or uh, or is shorter yeah and then and then after after uh, a few turns you may be able to find the optimal uh, op optimal configuration for your computer yeah but the the general suggestion would be to to uh, to compile it ca parallelly and use a vendor specific uh, compiler and MKL library. Okay, so the n so the next step would be uh, the hands-on tutorial. I will show you how to compile Quantum Espresso on Linux. I will first show you the default setting, so, so without any tuning of the uh, parameters. And that will result in a serial compilation with GNU compiler. Um, and then I, I, I will show you that it works. Um, and then we will uh, do we will include parallel computing with uh, GNU compiler. And the next step would be to include uh, Intel compi compiler and increased efficiency. Um, I, I, I can also try different systems and different uh, different combinations. Uh, if you have any idea what, what I should try, uh, please please just write in the comment below that I, will, I can also try to do it. Um, and uh, after the after after everything is done, I would uh, start with uh, some basic example examples of how to use Quantum Espresso, and uh, and later we will switch to the uh, project oriented more more scientific part, not uh, not a tec technical part as what we are doing uh, here. Okay. Um, I hope that uh, I help help you with something, and uh, thank you and see you next time.